Yes. Yes, I'm aware. Um, as I was saying... Usually... In my experience... You know anyone in Usually when you try to get people to fill out corporate mandated paperwork, um, it's like pulling teeth or trying to hurt cats or any myriad of other metaphors of difficult things to do because no one likes the paperwork. Least of all because it's from corporate. Well, 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 we've got, well, well, a lot, of, a lot to do. And none of it is particularly, uh, my cup of tea. Helping pirates. Well, nope, wrong way, this way, we go this way. Um, right. Part of our current course of work. Uh, that is a a, a ladder. You could. People. Always nice to kick oh. back in the broken spear after a long day. Whatever you say. No, what the? Did I officially take care of that? I might have. Um, perhaps I did. Red tape run no. Activities. Okay. My am, am I overlooking something? It is entirely possible. Charity of the wolf, no. Size I have to go back to Aquila. Late bloomer? No, no, no. Psyched there. Oh, return to Gilly. Right. Uh. Pardon. My, I'm. I guess going this way. Oh, there. Ah, yes. What better place than to to hand off sensitive documentation it's not than easy, the but bloody bar? Hopefully, no. when Gilly gets Hello, Gilly. Out, she can handle all of this herself again. Hush. You've got all those forms filled out and returned? Yes. Anyone give you any trouble? Other than Leona? Uh, I heard that. You're the one who implemented it. You've only got yourself to blame. Um. I mean. I don't know how seriously they took it. That's good to know. But as long as we get some data from this, it's okay. Maybe a poor review will shock them into taking it more seriously. Anyway, okay. thanks again. This is a massive load off my shoulders. I don't normally ask others to do my work, but this is a special case. You really came through for me. So here's a little something for your trouble. Why, thank you. 3,300 credits. See? Unless nice. you're a Demos employee, I can't really help you. I didn't want to talk to you, presumptuous person. You. They haven't caught on by now. They're kind of stupid, if you ask me. After doing a job for Adler, he decided to refer me to his superior, one of his superiors. I need to go to Europa. Lovely. Just what I want. Um, out of curiosity, where is this at? Nice. 
Nice. It is nice. Europa it is. Rook meets king. I want this off of my plate. Like Ever been to Akira? yesterday. Those yes. Security uniforms are way cooler than anything we've got. I'm worried about the football. Yeah, they're okay. Kila's a weird place. It's not everything that it's chalked up to be. In my opinion. Ah, off into the unknown reaches of piracy. That's good. It's like, did we land over here or did we land all the way over there? We landed like civil individuals in the proper place. Closest to where one is going to end up needing to go. Should really clean off that ramp though. Ah, the frontier. I am back. Even though I was not gone that long. We've got some adventures ahead of us. And probably not great ones. That's a pleasant change of scenery. Uh, yeah, sure. Hello, Heller. Hey, how's it going? Uh... Nice to see Been worse. You. And I've been better. Well, at least I don't have drugs on my ship anymore. But I also still have the UC not particularly pleased with me. Alrighty, crew, if you look out to your left, you see the red planet Mars. Straight ahead, the black abyss of space, and to our right, more of space. Now, I know we all like our time on Mars. It's a, it's a quaint planet. I enjoy it. I have nothing against it. It is, in fact, one of my favorite places in the soul system. Maybe Pluto's kind of nice too, but what is not my favorite place in the soul system is Europa. Specifically, this ship that is apparently called the Asteria, owing to the fact that it is, um, how shall I put it politely? Pirates have proliferated across its entirety. And I'm not exactly um, pro-pirate, shall we say. So, let's go to Europa. Yes, we will set course for Europa. And figure this out. Hold on, team. It's going to get questionable real quick. Ah, look who finally had the guts to show up. Looks like Adler finally did something right for once. So, big shot. I hear Adler thinks you're good enough to join our crew. Allegedly. Yeah, that would be precisely why I'm here. We'll see. When the waters get deep, it's sink or swim. I like that ship, though. So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. All right. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. Oh, okay. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. 
Oh no, really? If you get through this little task I have planned for you. Okay. There's a medical supply ship called the Rigana, jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. Interesting. Really though, a medical supply ship? Like, what about loot? Like, money? Come on. This job isn't about the loot. But I suppose every dog needs its scraps. Gotta play the part. Keep whatever worthless junk is on that right. ship. Just remember, the only thing that matters is that Rake dies. Very well. Seems straightforward enough. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head if you want to be pedantic. And don't keep me waiting for long. So that's the notorious Nova Mora. Mm -hmm. I have to say, if she's the finest that the Crimson Fleet has to offer, joining them might be a terrible mistake. Yeah. Um, curiosity. You said he was a traitor. What did he do? Rake used to run with the fleet. Hell, I'm the one who vouched for him in the first place. There Back it is. Back then he had a different name and a different identity. He was a damn good earner, too. Brought in a ton of creds. Oh, is that so? Everything was fine until he wanted out. So he ran. And nobody. I mean, nobody runs away from the fleet. Well, he did. And you're 100% certain that he is on this ship. I've been tracking Rick for months. He's making it tough, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. He changes his location and identity so often it's costing me a small fortune just to keep tabs. All for one person. You know what? It's worth every damn cred. He's made me look like a fool in front of Delgado. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have his head on a pike. Alrighty then. Bye bye. My pride was hurt and I need to go and kill this person. Uh, yes. Let's not have our weapon systems lock onto them. Alrighty. Now, where do we need to go? Well, let's scan. Cool. Water, chlorine, and chlorosilines. Oh, he's Enceladus. All the way over here by Saturn. So, we will set course for Enceladus and I guess travel there. Thank the stars, it's all in the same system. Oh, wow. Hi. This is Dmitry Moldavsky, pilot of the Ragana. We are a simple transport ship heading to New Homestead. We do not want any trouble. Understandable. Hello. Um... I... I have heard that there might be a crewman on board that I need to have a conversation with. Alright. And what are your intentions with this crewman? Um, no. What? Oh. Here we go. So... I'm here to actually protect him. The Crimson Fleet wants this individual dead, but I want to figure out a way in which we can avoid that unpleasantness. Oh God, I do not know. Keep in mind, we're not threatening to board you. We're asking. The distinction is rather important. Well... Normally, I would say no, but frankly, it will be safer for us that way. Yes. All right. You can dock. We will talk then. Jeez. Thank goodness. All right. 
beginning docking procedures. Hopefully, this individual is sensible, and I don't know, we can get him to the place on Mars? The UC ship? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I might just have to, you know, break out my silver tongue. Talk him off the ledge, as it were. The Regatta. Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. Um, cool. We aren't on our ship at the moment, though, so it's maybe mildly problematic. Hello. Is this how you greet all visitors? I am not sure what to make of you being here. Understandable. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. True. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. Yeah, that seems smart. Um, to be fair, I also don't know who's listening over the comms. So, person to person is safer, theoretically. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Yep. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? Um... Yeah. Let's see. Out of curiosity, why would you risk your lives to protect him? I will not murder a man in cold blood. Agreed. You will have to kill us all first. I don't plan on doing any of that. So... I'm going to make a, a very long story as short as I can. I uh, ran into a little bit of trouble with the UC Sysdef. And then my only real way out was to um, agree to become an undercover agent for them and infiltrate the Crimson Fleet. And then one of my first tasks with the Crimson Fleet was to do a bunch of stuff on Mars and then go to talk to one of the superiors who then sent me to find this individual and kill him. I don't have a horse in this race. I think that's a saying people still use. I don't know. Um, and I really don't want to uh, kill him if I don't have to. You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? Nope. And you do not seem to care either. You're which perceptive. Which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we okay. don't, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. Um, okay. I think, for our sakes, you should deliver him to Sistef. They're in orbit of Mars. If they... They, meaning the fleet, were to find out about this, we're both in trouble. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Sensible. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? Not, not really. It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. Lovely. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. Oh. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. See? Sensible. Hello. If you ever get to the key, you better sleep with one eye open and two pistols loaded. Hello. Thank you for letting us go. Of course. I had no quarrels with any of you. It's a cool looking door. All right. Sarah, let's go. I have things for you. Oh, do you? Let's see. Hey. I uh, said you had something. I should start charging for my services. Probably. Solvent. Nice. Thank you. Time to go. Yeah, time to go. Let's. Hopefully. Well. Um. Thank you. Let's hopefully not, um, anger a bunch of pirates. 
Alright. Disengage. Remember, assist F. Don't mess it up. Well, okay. Now my, um... I just have to trust that they're not gonna mess it up. Back to Europa. To talk with the Crimson Fleet and tell them that we most certainly definitely did kill Austin Rake. Can we ever catch a bloody break? Apparently not! dive or rise it, it doesn't exactly really make a difference in space all right that's one down spin 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 spins a good trick all right come here There you go. Ooh. Ah, bl bloody hell. There we go. How do you like that? Hmm? Not so much, huh? That was dicey. No, oh, that's right, my cargo is full. Very well. Um it's a bright uh star. Also known as the sun. Where is this? There you are. Oh, 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 slow down, slow down. Let's not, uh, ram into them. Thanks for the help with the Woo. cryptic. I had it under control. Sure. But it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. Now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Uh-huh. Of course. Um, who are the... Ecliptic, first off. Mercenaries. Guns for hire that shoot their own parents if they were paid enough. I'll tell you. And you wouldn't? We do a hell of a lot of dirty work in the Crimson Fleet. But we'd never sell away our souls like an ecliptic merc does. Ooh, we're pirates of standards. Why are you attacked? You know what? I have no idea and it's frustrating the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. I suppose I could have pissed off someone I screwed over in the past, but there's been so many, I've lost count. Not exactly a badge of pride. Um, however, Austin Rake is dead. The Bragana survived because they were willing to cooperate with me. Huh. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left hey. witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. There you go. Anyway, you wanted into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. For real. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. Pretty dumb. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm going to send someone after you. Clear? Yeah. Crystal clear. I mean, why would you bother sending that person? I'd rather you come after me. Be careful what you wish for. You screw up bad enough, and I just might. Mm. Now that you know the deal, 
It's time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key. Okay. The fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Well, we're in. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> Not a clue, Sarah, and that's what's worrying. We're both flying through uncharted space, as it were. Rook meets king. Report to the vigilance. Yikes. Alrighty. So, show on map. Um, yeah, let's see where this... Oh. Oh, as in, like... Yes, that, that does make sense. Let's go to Phobos. And then... To the UC Vigilance. Update them. And then... Pray. Hi! Welcome back, Agent. You're clear to dock at Docking Port 1. Lovely beginning and docking procedures. Well, let's uh, get on board. Good to be back on board. Okay. I had a friend on the Lagana. I hope I'll be able to see him next time we're on shore leave. Oh, so it sounds like the, uh... Right, this way. Well, it seems like they've already made contact. Hello! I am back! I saw one of the Ensigns get an Alpha Centauri from Officer Petrosian the other day. The man takes his job very seriously. Yeah, I'm going to pretend like I knew everything that you just said and what it means. Hello, Commander. You have permission to speak briefly. We got the message from the Ragana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. Um. Iris. Is there any um, point in trying to get him to give up info about the fleet? It doesn't seem like they're on good terms. That's something we're looking into, but it doesn't seem like he knows much. He might be better served as bait. For real? For now, we'll keep him in the brig. Perhaps you could pay him a visit there sometime? I'm sure he'd be pleased oh, to see Oh my you. goodness. Um, well. I hope you appreciate it, because that was risky. I do. I know it's a delicate tightrope, and it doesn't go unnoticed that you're risking your own life to walk it. Good, I better get something Every good. Every tightrope act needs a safety net. We appreciate the fact that you're behind us, Commander. Shh, I wouldn't count oh, on that. One more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern what? after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. So they clearly don't have problems attacking Crimson Fleet. They are mercenaries for hire. If they are paid enough money, Cliptic would attack the Vigilance. It wasn't terribly difficult to convince them to attack an isolated Crimson Fleet ship. Just expensive. Risky. But a gamble that hopefully paid off. On that note, how did things go with Neva? Were you able to join the fleet? Yes. Shockingly easily. I seem to have passed their first tests. Then it worked. You're in. So far. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was mm -hmm. correct. 
After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. All right. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Uh... What do we know about Neva? The woman has a record that could stretch across Seoul and back. She started young as one of Neon Street Rats. Worked her way up to second in command. Alrighty. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. She seems kind of dumb, but alright. Seems like everything's going as smoothly as it can be. Yes. You pass your first test and you're still alive. Yup. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. Debatable. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. Not well. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Um, well, she told me to meet at the key. Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Probably. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Uh, Agreed. Okay. The last thing we need is to infiltrate the fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. Yeesh. I don't disagree, but it's important to know your enemy and the best way to defeat them. Yeah, In yeah, case, yeah. Now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now. Especially while you're on the key. Thank God. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses. Should we need to engage with the fleet in the future? Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately. Lieutenant. Mine included? Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. Nope. Probably not. I hope not. your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. <sighs> right. I'm curious to actually have a little chat with our good friend What's-His-Face. The only problem, I don't remember where the brig is. We've been trying for years to get someone on the inside. Don't. Here? You see vigilance. First mission in the books and no casualties. Server room. Probably not. Most of our operations nope. team graduated top of their class. Alright, maybe this door. There's three out there. Hello. I woke up in the middle of the night once and found Ensign Betty tinkering with some machine. I don't know. You're starting to get some fans around here. I still don't buy it though. Commander Ikande is the Oh, this is the cockpit. I probably shouldn't be in here. I follow him to the end of the Vigilance is an amazing shit. It's too bad Constellation can't afford something this impressive. Well yes and no. Do we really need something like this? Probably not. It's a bit uh Pardon. overkill. Where's the where's the brig? Back in basic training, I had the record for fleet kills. Oh, uh, I am so special. Record for fleet kills. Brig. That way. Uh nope. Do not docking ports. Probably this way then. Docking port computer. Interesting. Docking port two. Unoccupied slash ready. Authorized UC ships only. Only, excuse me. And same for port four. All right. Well. So be it. How about this one? Probably the same. Docking five and seven. This way. Locked. 
Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh, there's the brig. Hello. I'm. Hi. Some of the guards don't take kindly to the prisoners, but we should try to maintain some decorum. That seems smart. Welcome to the brig. As a member of SysDef, you may talk with the prisoners as long as you are mindful of Operation Security. Of course. As a personal rule, I simply ask that you adhere to UC Navy standards of cleanliness at all times. That means no mud on your boots, your hands are washed, and you are free of any contagious disease. Oh, that's a pretty low bar. Uh, why the focus on the cleanliness? Besides the fact that it's healthier, a sanitary brig is important for station security. In my experience, a prisoner will hide a ship under a flake of dust if you let them. The okay. cleaner a space is, the easier it is to spot irregularities, both inside the cell and out. It's understandable. I generally do keep myself rather tidy. Excellent. And all that being said, I understand your mission directive might call for flexibility on my part. So if you need to be a rum-drinking, swashbuckling pirate to do your job, then I will do my best to clean up after you. Yeah, um... Not my, uh... Preference. Were there any problems securing Austin Rake? No. The prisoner surrendered willingly, as per the terms of your deal. Lovely. This is probably the safest place for him, if the fleet want him dead. Yeah, I would agree. You can chat with him, if you haven't already. I'm sure he has a lot to say. Lovely. Is there anything you need from me? As a matter of fact, I have a favor to ask. Besides being clean? I understand that part of your undercover work involves going to the fleet headquarters. Possibly. Namely, the key. Very While probably. You're there, if you find anything pertaining to the history of the fleet, I'd be interested in learning about it. Okay. That's unusual. I apologize, but no one from our side has been to the key in ages. The history buff in me wants to learn more. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I'll keep an eye out. I appreciate it. I've actually heard rumors about there being audio logs for an interview the founder of the fleet Jasper Cricks did on the key. Oh, okay. I'm interested in anything he had to say regarding his time in prison and how the prisoners were treated. If you find anything okay. like that, bring it back here and we'll take a listen. Sounds good. Why the fascination with Fleet's history? The Fleet and the UC are intertwined, and I've always felt knowing that past is an important part of what we do. In life, history can be a guide, a yeah. warning, or at times, a reflection. Sensible. And if you want to know which one it is, you have to stare it in the face, regardless of how ugly it is. You're a very interesting individual. I would not expect this of a brig officer. How do you handle treatment of the prisoners? That's a loaded question. We err on the side of caution here, short of any physical abuse. But with the Crimson Fleet, you have to be very careful. If you give them an inch, they'll take a parsec and find a way to stab you with it. Um... That is a fine balance. Do guards get into it with the prisoners regularly? Verbally, yes. There's a lot of bad blood with the fleet stretching across generations, myself included. Sometimes that blood spills over. As long as there's no actual fighting, I tend to let both sides dish it out. That seems fair enough. I, I do think that it's a, it is a very, very fine balance, but security overall is probably the best. Without it straying into abuse, as you put it. That's the idea. We will always err on the side of security, given the choice. But I'll be the first to admit it's not an exact science, and we've made mistakes in the past with both the carrot and the stick. Hey, no one's As perfect. As chief officer of this brig, 
My worst fear is that we'll someday repeat them. It is possible. I would assume you get a very wide variety of prisoners. The cells you see here are for captured pirates and prisoners of war. Okay. If you apprehend any pirates during the course of your missions, they'll be detained here. Interesting. And what if they try to escape? What are the defenses? We have multiple turrets attached to the ceiling. If you've met Ensign Betty, Not she's yet. personally calibrated them to ensure they cover the entire area. That being said, firing the turret should be considered a last resort. Yeah. And off the record, what are your thoughts on the commander, Conde? He's a good man, singularly focused when it comes to the fleet. But that's not to say he doesn't care about his crew. I can tell you a story as an example if you'd like to hear it. Sure, I've got time. So, I'm a bit of a workaholic, and I forget to take breaks. One day, Commander Ikande passes by the brig and sees me at my desk. He takes one look at my haggard face and says, Officer, I'm headed to the mess hall. If you're not with me in 15 minutes, your services will no longer be required on my ship. I tried to protest, but he was dead serious. So I went. We had lunch, talked about old times, and I went back to the brig refreshed and ready to work. Oh. It's little things like that. You can see he pays attention and that he cares about the people, not just the work. Well, that's actually pretty amazing for a commander. Well, I appreciate your time. As you were. I've got a conversation to have with What's his face? Austin? If that is his real name, which, which, I know it's not. Oh, I walked right by him. Hello! I guess you think I have some sad story to tell? That I met some sick orphans on New Homestead and grew a conscience? Or maybe you're the same. Uh, and you think I turned a new leaf because I wanted Sis to have to go easy on me. The truth is a bit more complicated than that. It usually is. Um, explain it to me then. Sure, I got time. So do I. You see, at my age, you know who you are. And I've always been a thief. I'd swipe a credit stick for my own mother if it had enough zeros on it. But even in a group of credit hungry thieves, a man has to have a code. Rules. Alright. You mean like the whole honor among thieves type thing? I do. You finish the job, it's supposed to be done. You get the rush and the relief. But in the fleet, doing the job isn't the hard part. Okay. In the fleet, you gotta worry about the guy sleeping next to you. And if he's gonna take a bigger piece of the pie. Uh, you gotta wake okay. up the next morning and wonder why your slice is missing and the crumbs are stuck to his face. I see. So, Napa mentioned you change, you've changed your identity multiple times. Yeah, I've had some work done. If you got the Crimson Fleet on your back, you would too. As for the name, Fair. that was actually the hard part. You can use a hundred different aliases and the system will just add them to the list. Now you can pay a guy to delete the list, but nothing's ever really gone forever. Nava probably paid the same guy to hit rewind. And here we are. Yeah. Why'd you join a medical supply ship though? Well, for one, they don't have much in the way of loot, but they're still important to somebody. You can't just blow up one without it showing up on SSNN, or UC Captain getting a 10-inch stack of slates on his desk. Fair. But more importantly, do-gooders are predictable. The pirate code changes depending on who's reciting it. Honest folks, they have a habit of writing their rules down. Why did I join the Regana? Truth is, I just wanted a good night's sleep. Understandable. What's your interest in... Working for Sistef. Not necessarily joining, but being an, a resource. <laughs> I put a bigger target on my back? As far as I'm concerned, the brig is the safest place I can be. I, I mean, I agree. The second you drag me into some private room, you're basically telling everyone here that I'm a rat. Fine. Very well. 
I will talk to you later. And I also don't see anyone else in this place outside of guards. The Trojan's a real neat freak. And there's our superior officer. That makes us all neat freaks. I mean, yeah. Of all of the brigs I've ever been in, this is by far the cleanest. And no, I'm not going to tell you how many. Yes, what? Suffice to say, this was not my first. <laughs> 